we just recently watched the comparison of Alia and Kuze, you know, just basically Roshitere in the English versus Japanese dub video. And if you haven't seen it, I think that it was pretty good. It did not feel cringe or fake voice acting. Shibi has a new video called Crunchyroll released his controversial English dub on Alia yesterday. Let's see what he has to say about this. So what I'm about to show you is 100% the official English dub of Alia okay. sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. It's become quite a popular anime as of late. Yep. I made a post on this late last night and it's quickly gaining traction as you can. This line I haven't seen. This scene was absent from the video we saw on YouTube regarding the comparison of the dubs. Let's see. You can see with 4.1 million views on it. You know, 64k likes, not including the retweets, quote retweets, etc. Look at those bookmarks, by the way. Uh, I wonder why people are bookmarking this. But uh, I wonder. Anyways, I want to play the first few seconds of this, and then yeah. we're going to discuss what's really going on here, and you know, if this is a good thing or bad thing, etc. So, you know, you're about to hear an English dub. This could be the first time in years you have heard an English dub of an anime. So let's dive head first into this. Let's go. Is it the senpai scene? <laughs> oh, this, this, this. Oh, hi, you, my Oni-chan. <laughs> I thought for a second she was speaking Japanese. I thought this is a Japanese dub for a second. Hold up. Hold in my defense, the video that I posted did not have this scene in. And in those lines, Yuki sounded pretty good. But now we get the one viral scene that everyone cares about. And she leads him by saying, Oh hiyo my Onichan. Wakey wakey, I am your emoto. Kawaii Deska. Oh shit, I can see why it's cringe. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Yeah. It, it, technically her character is an otaku, right? And she wants to Oh fuck this. She could have said like good morning, big bro. Like if she said something like that, it would have been perfectly fine, but like I I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's let's replay that scene one more time. Do this. <laughs> Oh, hi, you, my Oni chan. <laughs> yeah, hello. It was good up until you gave me the world's rudest awakening. Come on, your cute little sister is waking you up at love. Uh, cute little sister, why don't you say your cute emoto? Love and affection. Be happier. Yeah, you're not. But, like, listen to everything beyond that, okay? Everything beyond the, <laughs> the Japanese English is actually pretty good in my opinion and suits her character, which is supposed to be a cringe otaku. Been in this to be anything but wrong. Now please get off me. I'm sorry. Well, before I play anymore, can yeah. We just can we acknowledge just how perfect amount of cringe this little clip has, like. It might have a little bit too much to the point where people might start hating on it, but yes, there's a healthy dose of cringe here. Let, let me explain this, okay? So, if this is your first time ever watching any form of content of Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, you're probably going to be like, why is she speaking Japanese in an English dub? Like, she you know, a saying, weeb! Ohio, you know, saying something like that. Like, why? Why is she saying that when it's supposed to be an English dub? Weeb! Well, if you have watched the Japanese sub, the original, you know, language for the series, in this scene, in the actual Japanese voiced... You actually hear this character here, the sister character, actually say, Good morning, my brother, in mm -hmm. English. She says it actually in English. In oh, I didn't even know about that. In the official Japanese voice acting. And so the fact that the dub does... Did she say it like fucking Toto Aoi from Jujutsu Kaisen? Did she a good morning, my brother, like to Yuji? Hold the fuck up. It's been a couple weeks. If I want, I bet I made the fucking same joke if I went back. Sorry, there's just so many different things I'm juggling in my head. It's basically the same thing, but instead of doing the English for the scene, it's but the Japanese, inverse. like, you know, Ohio on each on. Yeah. It is such a perfect way to localize the, like, the, the voice yeah. acting that I feel like anyone that understands the message or context here for the original sub to also now the dub is going to really appreciate the effort just for that scene that was put in. And and that effort may go betrayed to the masses that's never ever seen Roche Dere and simply sees this viral clip without having the context and they're gonna shoot on the voice actor saying, this shit's so cringe, but you know. I'm just gonna say that I know people, you know, it's like apples and oranges comparing dub and sub, etc. You know, it's a debate as old as time itself. People. I still think that Japanese dub is superior to English dub in pretty much 99% of anime, especially those that actually has a Japanese environment setting, just like Roche did it. 
But for those animes, which may be like Cowboy Bebop, Shamurai Shampoo, or fuck, I know this is not an anime, but something like Avatar The Last Airbender, I would prefer those in English dub because the setting makes more sense in English, and I think it just makes more sense. But vast majority of anime, Japanese dub is much more emotionally charged even if i don't understand their language i can still hear it even a monkey can hear something and decide if it's good or not that's my take on english dub versus japanese dub people saying the dub is better than the sub the sub is better than dub etc etc i'm not here to fully get into that but what i will say is is that with a lot of controversies that crunchyroll has done as of late this overall is a very good pr moment for them mm. they actually adapted a series with a proper English dub yeah. that, in fact, properly gives context to what the original intent was. Now, is this a Crunchyroll dub or is this the Yuki's voice actor dub? Who gave the creative decision to do that, I wonder? And they spin it with a little bit of a localization that makes sense. For instance, allowing her to speak in Japanese instead of English. I really appreciate that. It's mm -hmm. because this character, if she was, let's say, you know, speaking English in the actual story, she probably would say, Ohio Anichan, instead of saying, good morning, my brother. So, I really like that. I don't know, just, this, I, I, I don't defend Crunchyroll a lot, but I will say, whoever the team was that decided yeah. to put this type of voice acting in this, like, you know, this type of dub, etc. for it, they did a good job. It's selecting the scriptwriter for this, like, how... For sure, right? We're, we're on a bit of a Crunchyroll hate meta right now because of all the bullshit they've been doing with the leaks and, you know, they're removing the comment section, removing other features and price increase and blah, blah, blah. But hey, give credit where it's due. Might not be specifically... I don't know. I don't know what the teams or how they organize these things and who made the decision to do this, but pretty smart in my opinion. How the dub would be done because I want more stuff like this. Like, if you're going to do localization, you're going to change things, make it make sense in context to the joke, etc., and this right here, I fully am happy with. Now, before we go any further as well, I want you to hear a little bit more of this scene. They actually somehow mm -hmm. made this scene that is just straight up really down bad in the Japanese even sound worse in English okay. dub. Not in a bad way, I guess, but more or less on the uh, the gooner side of things. And you know what? I, I, we I'm cooming! Just, let's play the clip. Let, All let's right. just play it. Did you just tell your sister to help you get off? Wow, Wincest! Fine, you're such a spoil sport. <laughs> Next time I'll act like a tentacle monster and sit Wait, under your what? bed, waiting to grab your legs as you wake up. She wants a lot of those H animes, huh? Switching to another hentai genre, huh? Yeah, yeah exactly. Now, get out of my room. But why? Wincest. Do you pop a boner on me? I think the substance, you pop a stiffy on the version that we've seen. She just straight up said a fucking boner. Bro. <laughs> Bro. I just... I don't know how you pop a boner on they me? managed to make the actual dub sound even more down bad than well, they did. the sub. Like, it is actually crazy. Maybe it's because it is my native language. Hearing it in English just makes it sound a hell of a lot worse. No, for sure. I think there's a big component to that where, like, you are an English speaker, you're hearing in English what the Japanese dub was saying, but now in, like, a different way, and you're like, holy shit. You actually said that? Yup, she said that. But I want to remind everybody, this sequence right here, this is between brother and sister. We're not talking mm. about step-siblings <laughs> within manga and anime. This is, they're officially blood-related. Which doesn't really shock me, right? If this is your first anime that you've ever seen, it may shock you. But let me just give you a little secret if you're new to anime. Pretty much every anime that you're going to watch, there's going to be some component or element of Siskon, Brokon, or some level of incest. Even if it's not directly blood related. Something about anime, Japanese culture. No, I think that something as taboo as incest is like quite widespread. If you look at like most search titles on different types of NSFW content, I think that incest is actually quite up. Not just specific to Japan. However, in anime... My goodness, there's a lot of content around that. It's just like, bro, they're channeling that Andy and Lele energy for this episode. Whoever this voice actress is that is doing the dub for her, mm. you got to imagine, she was given this script, okay? Like, she was sat down at a meeting table, okay? Like, all the voice actors, etc. were sat down. Yeah, and the exec said, listen, Yuki's voice actor, you need to say, you need to translate. 
from Japanese that there's a line where you're gonna say, did you pop a stiffy? And the voice actor went, sir, I got a great idea. I'm gonna say pop a boner and this is gonna basically launch my voice acting career into the fucking moon. I would think that she understands the culture. She understands what kind of response from the industry and the fans would have if she did this and she committed. And now people are making videos on it. This shit got a lot of views, not just Chibi's video, but the Twitter video as well, right? So all calculated marketing, God. And she was given this script that she had to read. And when she's like, huh, I'm going to have to say this with my. I wonder if the script said, hmm, did you get hard? Pop a hearty? Pop a stiffy? No, no, no. We need to say pop a boner. In my head, Canon, the voice actor intentionally said that, fully aware of the response from the internet. Voice for this show. I really, I would pay to see the behind the scenes moments of her trying to say this line with a straight face. I would love to see some behind the scenes footage. I would like to see not just that, but behind the scenes footage as most H anime, just to see like how it's done. Like, they're just in like a recording booth making all those noises. It's like, what actually goes on? Like, can people like hold their true faces? Like, just like, when I think about that, it's just like, how does that work? You know? It's just the most cringe, degenerate voice lines with a bunch of weird noises. And they just act as if everything is just professional. Imagine just like a, like a, they just do one practice shoot of a girl just getting blasted by a minotaur, bro. And she's making all these different noises. And the director says, cut, cut, hey, listen, listen. I think that we need a little bit more emotion in this scene when a minotaur breaks into you. Can you do that for me? You know, like, do they actually do that with like a straight face? I really wonder. Like Crunchyroll, you have a good moment here to have some really good PR to really get the community kind of on your side after the fiasco of removing your comment section and doing all sorts of a controversial stuff as of late. You have a moment here to really do good by the anime and manga community by potentially showcasing behind the scenes stuff. I would just, I would love to see this because once again, who that would be a Crunchyroll dub, but I'm not gonna expect that from them. Whoever is behind this for Crunchyroll that is doing the dub. They need to do more. They need to do more of this for going on forward with <laughs> They need to do more? Anime is saved because a voice actor said boner. Oh my god, this is the fucking standards that we, the weebs, have, man. No wonder we get treated like shit. Anime when it comes to English dubs, because this is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Regardless if you disagree with the content, okay, I'm just going to say that. It doesn't matter if you disagree with the content that is within this episode. The point of the matter is, is that for Crunchyroll to dub this without pushing any modern audience type mumbo jumbo mm. in this type of stuff, keeping... Like, they could have done some woke localizer shit and try to make this, you know, inject, like, Western ideologies into it, right? We've seen the subs go wrong, but hey, the English voice acting is on point. ...it literally on point to the actual original Japanese, but going even step further to make it kind of sound even more down bad, but in a way that doesn't necessarily destroy any of the original source, I appreciate that. I really do. And so, I do hope... That uh, whoever did this, they get the praises they deserve. I, I would love, I really wish, this is one of those times where I wish I could see the comment section here just to see what people would say about this dub. I really wish I could. Oh, Obviously, the comment section, no! But uh, with that being said, though, it is definitely very telling just how down bad people are for this sister character when you just take a look at these bookmarks for this brief clip I posted late last night. Pretty funny, honestly, but um, makes sense. I mean... Great character overall. She is literally a menace and a chaos gremlin itself. Yes, she, she is. She's just so chaotic. She hasn't gotten enough screen time recently. The recent episode, we need more Yuki, man. I love her as a character. And I just, anytime she's in a scene, you know she's about to cause some problems. And yeah. I love it. She is just such a fun character on screen. She honestly steals the show. She really does. Like, she really steals the show, even though the show is obviously about Yuki better and Alia confirmed. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russians. But with that being said, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Y'all know what to do. Please go give Chibi a sub and like his videos if you haven't checked out his channel. But yeah, I think that the voice acting is pretty good. If you haven't seen the English dub, I know that English dub is pretty cringe to most people that watch anime hardcore. But if you actually genuinely give it a try, I don't think that you'll be finding the voice acting with, you know, lack of emotions compared to some of the other dubs. I think that it was pretty decent then, but Yuki's doing fantastic.